close your eyes and watch your breath. As the breath comes in, notice where you feel the breath. And notice whether it feels comfortable or not. If it does feel comfortable, just keep it up the way you're breathing. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can change. Try deeper breathing, longer, shorter, more shallow. Try to see what kind of breathing feels best for your body right now. And try to stay with the breath. If other thoughts come into the mind, just let them go. You don't have to follow them. You don't have to chase them down and straighten them out. Just let them go, and you're back at the breath. What we're doing is developing some qualities of mind that are very useful in all your activities. There's mindfulness, which is the ability to keep something in mind. Alertness, knowing what you're doing and the results of what you're doing as you're doing them. And ardency, the quality of wanting to do something really well. If you bring these three qualities to the meditation, the mind develops. And then you find that you can use these same qualities in all your activities of life. But in particular, you get to know your own mind while you're sitting here and meditating. Oh, we spend most of our time looking at the world, listening to the world, tasting, touching, feeling the world. And the mind is engaged in things outside and doesn't get a chance to really look at itself, to see what it's doing, to see where it's creating any unnecessary stress or suffering for itself. So now it's a chance to take the time to look precisely at that. You start with the way you breathe. If you're breathing in an uncomfortable way, no one is forcing you to breathe in an uncomfortable way. So you can change it. You begin to realize there are a lot of things that you don't pay attention to but do have an impact. Because the way you breathe is going to have an impact on the way you feel your body. The way you feel your body is going to have an impact on the state of your mind. You can put yourself in a really bad mood by breathing in an uncomfortable way for a while. And you can turn that around. You can put yourself in a much better mood by breathing in a comfortable way. That way you find you have the strength inside to deal with whatever difficulties come up in life. And it's just this way that you find that the meditation makes a difference, not just giving you a place to rest for a while, but also helping you to see what needs to be done and giving you the strength to do what needs to be done. The mind doesn't get lost in fantasies. It's actually with what it's doing all the time. And that way you live up your life in a much more skillful way. So take some time now to be with the breath and put all your other responsibilities aside. You have to take them up at the end of the meditation, but when you do take them up, you'll be in a much better shape to take them up and handle them well.